Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all all had a great week. I had a great week. Um, I enjoyed my weekend with my sister, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And I found some pretty good stuff. Um, somebody mentioned in my Thrift With Me video that the Pensacola thrift stores aren't that great, but I did manage to find some stuff. We also went to a couple of garage sales, so I found some stuff. Uh, Maybe just a couple of things at garage sales. Just one thing. But anyway, um, I've got a pretty big haul, so let's get started. All right, so I'll start with the stuff that I'm going to keep, and it came from different places. So this first one came from a thrift store. We stopped at thrift stores on the way home, my daughter and I. It's about a seven-hour drive, so we spread it out, and she fell in love with this and had to have it. And it is a nativity calendar for Christmas nativity. So... Is that right? No, it's Advent. It's an Advent calendar. Nativity calendar. It's an Advent calendar. So it starts with one and you work your way down to 24 and little treats go in there every day. And I got that for $3.99. So, uh -oh. That's cute. I might spray paint it just one solid color and just have these little guys, but I don't know. They're hard to get out. So I don't know. I may just leave it as is, but it was $3.99. She was not leaving the store without that. So we got that. Um, and then just some random things I found. I got this for 99 cents and it's Perfectly Posh brand. And that is a, if y'all don't know, like a, a trunk show kind of thing, like where people sell it at their house. And um, it's face, I think, and body care stuff. Um, but it's really good stuff, and this was great for 99 cents. It's called All Fall Down. It's Crisp Autumn Delight of Pear and Cranberry. It smells very good, like fall. And again, it's, fr it's brand new, and it was 99 cents. And then one of the waterfront mission is a mission down there, or is a, um, yeah, it is a mission, and they, ha and they have a thrift store. And half of their store, or part of their store, they've now turned into a by the pound. So I found these little guys, which are a size four kids. I'm gonna save them till my daughter can fit in them. She's in like two and a half right now. They're little Minnetonka boots. They are well worn, but I found them in the per pound and they ended up being one whole dollar. So I thought those were cute and I'll just tuck those away in her closet until she's ready to wear them. Then I got for myself, this, let's see, I think it's turned inside out. It was, where did I get this? It was half. Oh, I got this at a really, really nice thrift store in Pensacola. It was almost like a little boutique. Um, and it was red tag, so it was half off. It's $2.99, it's just a little tunic. I've told y'all before, I like to put these on with leggings for church. And it's Brenda's brand. So for $2.50, I'll get some use out of that, nothing fancy. And then the last couple things I got for myself was this, at a, at a Goodwill, this uh, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, no light needed, and it's got a, a gel polish and a top coat. I got some gel polishes the other day from Dollar Tree, and they, what brand were they? Kiss, I think? But I couldn't find the top coat, and I put those suckers on, and I tried both colors that I got, and they peeled off worse than just like a regular nail polish. I mean, it was peeling off before the end of the day. So hopefully this with the top coat will stay for a little bit longer. I'm not super crazy about that bubblegum pink color, um, maybe for summer, but I also picked up separately. I mainly got it for, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. These are not even gel polishes. I thought that I got two extra gel polishes, but they're not, they're just regular polishes. So whatever, anyway, they're 79 cents. They're pretty, pretty colors. This is plums the word. I'm probably gonna paint, probably gonna paint this for right now and save this for winter. Hopefully this will stay on well and I guess I'll be using this pink or I can probably pick up some separate um, miracle gels. This one is pink pong, and this is really pretty. It's like a mauvey pink. 
Alrighty then. Sometimes I don't pay attention to things, but I probably still would have gotten those anyway because they're pretty colors. All right, so that's all I think that I'm gonna keep for myself. There's one thing that I'm on the fence about, but it goes with some other stuff and there's a story. So I'll wait and tell y'all about that in a little while. Okay, so let's go to the purses. So I got this beautiful coach at a Goodwill. So the thing about the Goodwills that I found in the Pensacola area is that they're quite expensive. Quite expensive. Like this was marked $20, which I thought was a little high. And uh, it's in beautiful condition. But she said because it had been there for a certain amount of time or whatever that she could mark it down to $15. So I did pay $15 for this. It's got the little tag. The only thing that I see that's even beginning to be wrong with it, hold on, is it looks like right here the edge coat is just like slightly chipped it's not even chipped on the edges it's just chipped right on the top right there which is so not even noticeable and then i just saw that there is a tiny little watermark right there but again that's tiny i have not conditioned it or anything yet so yeah she marked it down so it is not a factory bag it's really really pretty looks like these are selling for about 70 or 80 dollars online when i checked can't remember the name because i never do but anyway really really pretty oh and the other thing which i'm going to just snip after this video is there's a string if y'all can see it i wanted to point it out but there's a string right there it doesn't affect anything because there's like 17 it goes through there like 17 times so i'm just going to clip that off Okay, and then I went to a Goodwill by the pound, by, kind of by accident. I didn't know that's what it was till I got there. And um, I actually found, my sister was doing a container garden, and we were looking for some cheap totes, those plastic totes, to start her container garden in until she can get some nicer things. And I found two totes for 99 cents a piece, which was great, but of course I left those with her. And then as I was leaving, I noticed they had a little front area with a glass case, and they had two coach purses in there. And there was a lady waiting beside me and she also wanted to look at the purses. So we decided to each take one of the coach purses and it was $5. It is very, very dirty. I will clean it, but it doesn't look structurally like there's much of an issue. There is a little bit of wear, but it's not definitely not worn through or frayed or anything. So this should clean up really well. There is a little bit of peeling edge coat right there but again that can be fixed with just that stuff called edge coat all righty a video wouldn't be complete without the dogs barking would it i mean come on y'all would miss it all right so went to the waterfront mission the one where i got the boots in just the regular area and they were having a purse sale and they had all their purses out on a table and it was 30 percent off which i thought was awesome so I found this beautiful coach, which I may be switching out in Italy for that other one. I haven't decided yet, but I'll sell one or the other. Really, really pretty. My phone fits in here. It's an S7 Edge, and so that's pretty awesome. It's got a nice interior. It's in beautiful condition. Beautiful condition. I, it doesn't even look like anybody used it. Because like the, even the little brass findings, they don't have any scratches on them. So that's beautiful. $6.99 and 30% off of that, whatever that is. $4.99 or something, $5. And then I found something I've never found. I found a lamb purse, which was the Gwen Stefani brand, L-A-M-B. And it's really cute. Really, really pretty leather. If there is a white spot on the back here, which I haven't had a chance to condition. Let me, I do have my handy dandy conditioner right here. So let me just see if it will come out. This is beautiful, beautiful soft leather. And um, I was excited. I'm always excited when I find brands that I have not found in the past. So it's lightening up. I'm not going to sit here for the entire time and work on it, but it is lightening up. So I feel like with some elbow grease, most of that will come out. 
Um, it does need to be conditioned. There is another little white spot on the front. It has this zipper here. It says lamb. And there is a white spot here. And there is a white spot here, which has already gotten lighter. So I will work on those. I did just notice, so I paid $4.99 minus 30%. I did just notice that the zipper pull is gone. But again, you can order just regular black leather zipper pulls off of Amazon, like just a little tab that goes on there for like a couple of bucks. So it's not a big deal at all. Other than that, it's in perfect condition. Um, it looks like it originally did have a long strap. So I'm gonna continue to work on, I think I'll pile the ones I need to work on. That, and I'm gonna wash that coach. So then at a garage sale, I found this little guy for $3. And it's a Dooney and Burke, really cute. It's also in excellent condition. I don't even know if it needs to be cleaned. These are really easy to clean, but I don't even think it needs to be cleaned. It looks very clean. The interior is super clean, which with that hot pink, it usually gets dirty. Extra cute. Three little pockets, one, two, and then your main pocket. It's obviously a crossbody. It's funny, she had like a really old, really tiny and really bad condition coach that she was asking 10 for, but she was asking three for this. I was like, mm, I'll just, I'm just gonna take that one. So that's really cute. And then on the way home, like I said, I was stopping at different thrift stores and we walked in one Goodwill. And again, I found that the prices were kind of excessive and they had a whole rack of really nice purses, which were all marked at like retail value. So I didn't get any of those, but I did, Always, you guys, always, 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 even if a place puts their fancy purses somewhere and overprices them, always look through the other purses because there are people that do not know certain brands, okay? And so there will be stuff over there occasionally that they missed. So don't lose hope if you live in a place, and I've said this previously, that, that marks their stuff way up. You will, Things slip through the cracks. So... An example of that would be this Kipling bag. It is in great condition. It has still got Mr. Monkey on it. If y'all are not familiar, this is Kipling's little, they have the monkey on, um, that's their mascot, I don't know what you would call it. But anyway, and on it, it says Kipling and her name is Marsha. And almost always this is missing when you find a Kipling. So. It was all of their purses, see it's got the little monkey, all of their purses that were not marked differently were $3.99. So, great deal. I open it up and it's got the wallet inside of it. And the wallet is not marked. The wallet is brand new. I'm pretty sure both of these are brand new actually. So this wallet's never been used. It's still got the little Kipling card in it. And um, I paid $3.99 for both of these things, really cute. There's another Kipling card, so. Um, this is a really interesting finish too because it almost looks like it's slightly tie-dyed and the bag is like that too. I don't know if y'all can see that. At first it looks kinda like wrinkles, but it's actually like a light tie-dye. Let me see if I can get y'all to see it. So that's pretty cool. I was very excited about that. Okay, and then these things that I'm about to show you, I always check on let go, Craigslist, offer up, all those things when I'm in another town because I wanna see what people are selling. And so I ended up going to this lady's house and I got all of this stuff for $55. So I'll show you everything. So first I got this little coach and it is really cute. It's like a soft goldy silver. It's like that it's like that goldy silver. It's kind of in between and it does have silver hardware. I did notice that it does have a tiny pin mark, which I am going to work on with my baby wipes, but it's tiny, tiny. It's got a lanyard. It's really cute. It's in very good condition. It's got that beautiful purple lining. So I got that. And then and I did wash these two fabric items before we left Florida because I also got my niece a little card holder keychain thing and I washed that for her so I went ahead and threw these in 
when I did that. So I got this guy, which I had never, I've seen these, but I've never come in contact with these before, and they are super cute. It's like, it's a wristlet. It's got the coach thing, little coach button, which has almost no scratching on it. And then this is really cute because it's got a card holder. It's also got a zip pocket and it's got a little area. So it's a little bit more like a wallet. I really like this and it still has this little back pocket and this is patent-ish. It's shiny. It's not, I wouldn't say it's patent, but it's a shiny leather. So super duper cute, cleaned up beautifully. And then I got this guy, which I also washed and cleaned up gorgeously because the uh, suede was dirty. Everything on here was filthy. And I have had this purse in white before and I cleaned it up and it sold very, very well. Hold on. Okay, it's just got smuts on it. And so this is a gorgeous bag. It's poppy. It's huge. I cannot again remember the name. Beautiful on the inside. Because I did get it wet, a little bit of this is kind of like the shininess is gone if you look at it from a certain direction, but that's just your, it, it, with that shiny stuff, anytime you get it wet, that's what happens. But I cleaned the crap out of this and it came out so pretty. So there's nowhere on the bottoms. There is one tiny little black mark um, on the bottom right there, which is totally not noticeable. And then, I'll, you guys know I always like to try to point out every single thing that might possibly be wrong with it because I want people to know what they're getting. There is a little pull right there. Okay, other than that, as far as I can see, it's in great condition. There is, and I probably could have scrubbed it harder. I did not have with me my oxy dupe, but there is a little bit of dirt right here, which if y'all wanted to wash that again, if somebody liked this and that bothered them, you could probably get that out. I just didn't have my oxy dupe to, to do like that. And I didn't notice it until it was dry. But it's beautiful and the suede came out gorgeous. And I hope that my phone has not cut me off. Let me just, well, if it is, I guess I'll refill. Okay, last thing is this bag that I also got in this group for $55. And I have never had one of these, and it is something that I may or may not keep. I'm not sure. And it is a Life's Kind bag. And this is, I believe, the Mia or the Maya bag. It's gorgeous. It looks like a Birkin. Soft leather. Um, there is one flaw with it, and I'll show y'all. Got this turn lock. It's hard for me to do without. Hold on. So you unhook these and you can leave these hooked and put this off and on and never have to like mess with those. Um, let me show you the inside and then I'll show 